Welcome to John Mason School. We are the JMS Press. I'm Antonio. I'm Ella. I'm Izzy. I'm Harriet. I'm Sophie. Today is a really important day for us. Yeah, we'll be interviewing the MPs for Abingdon on Thames and Oxfordshire West. This is one of the closest elections in the country. Nicola Blackwood is the current MP, but today we want to find out what her challenges could bring to Abingdon. Let's go. Well, in, in Oxfordshire, obviously, flipping is a big problem for an awful lot of people. I, I live in Oxford, and I happen to live on a floodplain myself, so I know how important it is that we do something about it. So there are really big plans for an additional channel to take the water away from the places where people are living. Um, and, and also, I think this really does come back to climate change as well. We've really, on a national and a global level, got to do something about extreme weather because it's going to carry on unless we take a new So, flooding in Oxford, who here has been flooded themselves? Or has anyone got friends who've been flooded? Yeah, yeah I have, definitely. <laughs> and it's one of the biggest issues, I think, that affects the whole county. Um, what we are trying to do at the moment is to find a way to stop that from affecting the big populations in Oxfordshire. And what they're planning to do is something called the Western Conveyance Channel. So it's a £100 million channel that they're going to put around Oxford, because if you remember, Oxford floods really badly. Yeah. But I'm really worried about the effect that's going to have on Abingdon. Well, the first thing I would do is listen to you to hear what you would like to do to make school better. The next thing is I would make sure that your teachers are supportive. So I know that teachers have massive workloads, um, lots of marking, lots of preparation. So I'd make sure I protected the time for teachers to do that. But I'd also make sure we offered quality support and training for the teachers as well. So they had um, help and guidance where they needed it. why teachers want to leave is because they don't feel that they are trusted enough. Um, the government is very keen. I don't know why they do this. And this is uh, my dream job, by the way, is to be education secretary. Because I don't think there's been enough politicians who talk about education and decide about education have actually been in a classroom. Um, so I, uh, and the Liberal Democrat policy is we want to create a royal college of teachers. Um, because one of the things that, that teachers tell us is they don't have enough time to refine being a teacher. They don't have insets, fine, um, but there's a lot going on in the profession. The way that we understand the teenage brain is changing all the time, um, and teaching really is an art. It's, it's something... Were there any questions we asked that you found difficult to answer? Um, I think the one about how what exactly I do to fix the education system, just because I have so many ideas and there are so many policies. Yeah. So it's quite hard to, to decide on just one or two things to say in an interview, because actually you could speak about it for hours and hours and hours, but that would be really boring. What was your favorite question? Um, I don't know that I can answer that. I thought they were all really good questions. Um, some of them really made me think about different things as well, in terms of my feelings about things like the NHS and about school and what I hope for, um, but also thinking about what actually I think a Labour government will deliver, so it's quite a good spread as well. I really enjoyed meeting Leila and Sally today. Thanks to everyone who made this experience happen. <laughs> the people of Abingdon are going to have a hard time choosing as they both gave really good answers. We are the JMS Press, back to the studio.